The second one is selective focus. And that's kind of evaluating the actual sources of the data for their quality. So it's picking experts. So not just averaging this out in the first step, but actually saying, okay, well, this person, you know, they, they talk about this frequently and they always seem to be around the, the, the right answers. And so I'm going to pick that expert when I get a question about this subject. So that's, that's this selecting a master consultant within my data on the question that you've asked me. So it has that kind of discrimination. It's not going to just give you an answer that comes from somebody because they had a, a volume of, of content about it, you know, that they're highly represented in the data. It's going to focus on selecting experts who seem to have the right idea. To combine those into a novel conclusion and, and then present a response that is better than what the response of any one of the human experts represented in there could do. Why? Because the, the founding principle of this is that it, it has immediate access to everything that every expert and every non-expert has contributed in the form of human knowledge or not so smart knowledge in the corpus of data that these things are being trained on. And we're talking now about just a very single model, like building a frontier model and putting all this data in it. And yet it actually has these skills that allow it to transcend human competence and intelligence on any subject because it has access to a wide range of contributions to that subject.